Hey, 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 kids! Great to see you again this week! Can you see me? I want you to wave your hand like this. One, two, come on, you can do it. Three, four, five, six. It's King Aaron again this week and ready to share the word of God with you. Now you're wondering, you like my new hair? Ah, you like my new hair? Can you touch your hair and show me your hair? Oof, it's not as long and nice as my hair. I went and did something completely new. I went to a cold country called Scott. Land. Can you repeat after me, Scotland? There you go. I went all the way to Scotland, and when I got there, I had so many friends. They served me, and they gave me this hat here, and my hair grew, and it changed colors, and now it's orange, and I got this nice cap that I love. What do you think of it? Do you like it? I know I love it, and I know it's very cold at everybody's house, so I'm gonna try to have my tea here. My really nice tea. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is nice tea. Mm -hmm. Would you like some tea as well? Oh, I've got an extra cup for you. Let me give it to you. There you go. Would you like your cup of tea as well? Hey, okay, you gotta catch it. One, two, three, catch. Oh, I broke the cup of tea. You didn't catch it. It's your fault. My cup of tea is still here. Mm. And speaking of doing things new, is there anyone who's here for the first time? Are you here for the first time? Are you here for the first time? Guess what? We would love to know you and connect with you because I want to love you. I want to love you. I want to love you. And so I want to get to know you. So if that's you for the first time, I want you to look at the email on the screen and ask your mommy or your daddy or anyone in the house to connect with us by sending us an email at info at life-church.co.za or you can connect with us on Instagram and Facebook and we can't wait to have you. I am so excited today and it's a secret. Okay, I want you to pull your ears wide open. And now, very carefully, I need you to know that we are starting a brand new series. And the name of that series is, I need you guys to give me a drum roll. Can you go with your hands? I need it to be loud. Drum roll. It is called Renew. Wow. Come on, I want everybody to cheer and say, yay. And for this brand new series, I want to teach you how to spell the word Renew because we want to do something new in this season. Okay, so what's the first letter that goes into writing renew? I know some of you may be too young, but some of you can be smart enough to know this. How do you spell, mm, I got hey in my, uh, hey in my mouth, oh, uh, hey, stay away from me. Okay, so how do you spell, how do you spell renew? What's the first letter? Drum roll, and the first letter is this. What is this? It's an R. Well done to those who could do it. And what's the second letter to our theme? It is E. Do you guys know this letter? E. Re. And then we have a couple of letters to come. And then the next one, guess what's the next letter? Who knows? It is this green letter. What is this? It's an A. Yeah, well done to you. If you didn't know, that's okay. You have one more chance. Renew, and what's the next letter? It's a letter we've already seen, and it is this one here. It's another E once again. And then we have one more letter to go, and that's a very, very difficult letter. And I've made sure it's empty so you can see, and it's a, can you see it? Oh, my face is stuck in here. Can you see the letter? It is, W, U, and that's how you spell renew. Well done to you guys. So we want to do something new. So I want you guys to close your eyes as we pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this new theme called Renew. We are so excited to go into a new season because we want to do things new again. We want to leave the old ways behind and we want to look at the future and hope. In Jesus' name we pray and everybody shout, Amen! Yeah!
Let's get into our story for today, okay? So the story is about a man called Lazarus. Can you spell Lazarus? I know this is too hard for you, but can you shout and repeat after me? Lazarus! Can you say Lazarus? Well done. So as we talk about Lazarus, I want to ask you a very, very specific question. Who among you had a good night of sleep last night. Did you have a good night of sleep? Tell me, do you enjoy sleeping? I know I love sleeping. Now show me, in what position do you sleep? I sleep in this position here. Here. What's going on? I almost fell asleep there, did you see? Now, what position do you use to sleep? Is that your sleeping position? No, show me your real sleeping position. Come on, go do it. Well done, that's it. And in this story, Lazarus is gonna fall asleep. And so Lazarus was a very, very good friend of Jesus Christ. They were a very good friend. And Jesus was also a good friend of Lazarus' siblings. His sister, Mary, and Martha were very good friends with Jesus. They loved playing together. Can you show me some of the games you love playing? Can you show me? Okay, let's try a game here together. Let's try a game. I will say Simon says, and then you have to do what Simon says. Let's see. Simon says, jump, jump. Simon says, sit down. Simon says, jump to the left. Simon says, jump to the right. Simon says, sit. Simon says, stand up. Someone says run around. Someone says freeze. Well done, well done. That's exactly the kind of game that Jesus enjoyed having with his friend Lazarus and Martha and Mary. They did plenty of games together. And then one day Jesus was in a different town and he heard. Can you show me your ears? He heard that Lazarus was sick. He <laughs> was sick. Can you show me your sad face? Lazarus is sick. And he thought to himself, hmm, why is Lazarus sick? Everybody said, Jesus, you need to run and go get Lazarus. But Jesus said, no, 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 don't worry. Lazarus is going to be okay because you know what? Everything that happens, happens to bring glory to God. And to bring glory to God means to make God big and famous right so he said don't worry it's all part of god's plan and the disciples of jesus looked at jesus and they said are you sure jesus now can you shake your head like me like this are you sure jesus he said hmm, yes i am sure and then after many days i passed guess what as lazarus fell into a sleep i want everybody watching to go into your favorite sleeping position here's mine everybody goes Wake up, everybody, wake up! So they went and slept, and Lazarus was sleeping. And then Jesus heard the news, and he knew that Lazarus had gone to sleep forever. Lazarus was dead. And the disciples were sad. But Jesus said, Don't worry, I will find a way. So Jesus went all the way to the town where Lazarus was staying. And by the time he got to the place where they had buried Lazarus, guess what? Martha said to Jesus, 
his mouth, his body smells already. It's already stinky because he's been sleeping and he's been there for far too long. And Jesus said, no, he's not sleeping, he's not dead. It is, Lazarus is sleeping. And they said, can you really make sure Lazarus come back to life? And Jesus says, yes, I can. And this is a specific sentence he said to Mary and Martha. He said in John chapter 11, verse 25, I am, I want everybody to do this, I am, I am the resurrection and the life. That's a very difficult word to say, resurrection. That means I am the one who brings people that I sleep back to life. And he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live forever. And Martha said, yeah, come on everybody, jump, yeah. And Jesus went and saw the tomb. And in the tomb, there was a big rock. Can you see this big rock? Oh, this is so heavy. Oh, oh, oh. This rock is super heavy. And Jesus said, okay, let's roll. Let's push the rock. Can you help me roll this rock? So they started rolling. Can you roll your hands as well? Roll, 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 roll. And then eventually Lazarus was in there. And Jesus said, Lazarus, wake up from your sleep. And all of a sudden, boom, Lazarus was alive. He was no longer sleeping, he was alive. And he came out of the tomb. Now, this is what I want you to know from this story that is found in John chapter 11. Jesus can do anything. And as we start renewing everything in our life, we need to have faith and believe in Jesus Christ. So I want all of you to come closer to the screen. Come much closer. And we're going to pray together. I will teach you how we can pray very powerful prayers. Okay, come, come closer to the screen. And this is the kind of prayers that I want you to do to believe in Jesus for this new season. Okay, I want you to put one hand here. Another one here. And repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I love you. You are good. And we believe in you. I don't understand why certain bad things happen, but I trust in you. And I know that you know what's best. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I want you guys to go and try to pray on your own more and more because the Bible says that they do not have because they do not ask. So as we go into this renewal theme, I want you guys to ask God. And the only way you can ask God is by praying. Well done to you for listening to today's story. I want you guys to keep on praying. And I will see you next week. Ciao, bye. All right. Now that we have finished with our entire story, I want to tell you about the activity for this week. The activity is not going to be about drawing or making anything because we want to do things new. We want to do things that are different. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I am like you and I'm tired of all the dreams that are going around and all the people that are falling sick. So how about us as children, we are going to pray. Okay, so this is what I want you to do for your activity. I want you to sit down with your mommy and with your daddy and tell your mommy, I want to pray. Okay, and then I want you to pray out loud and your parents are going to write down your prayer on a nice piece of paper and then they will make it, you make it colorful and make all the drawings with it. And I want you to stick it in your bedroom so that Jesus can always see the prayers that you have for him. So every night from today, I want you to pray and make it look colorful and stick it on the wall. And please ask your mommy to either take a picture of you, a photo, a video of you praying, or take a picture of your prayer and send it to us because I want to pray with all of you. Prayer is important. Okay, kids? Thank you for today. Now, your turn to pray and I will see you next week.